Okay. Hi, you guys. Welcome to Prospect Park Tarot. I am Jessica, and we will be doing a general energy report for July 16th through the end of the month. I'm sorry. All these cards just fell out. Let me pick them back up real quick. But anyways, we're going to... We're going to get right on into this message because I do respect you guys' time. And um, just a quick disclaimer, I may use some vulgar language. If that's not your cup of tea, you've been warned. But um, yeah, this is just a general reading for the second half of the month of July, 2019. What does Spirit want you guys to know? What guidance can, can I offer you guys? This is a general reading. So if you are here, this message is meant for you. If you are not here, this message is not meant for you as you aren't here to even hear me say that. But um, okay, let's... Let's get right into the into the message. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse. What the F is going on? Let's get some clarifiers for these because, wow, what's going on? I'm not gonna type these guys. You got the Ace of Cups over the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The, um, the Ten of Pentacles over the Six of Cups. And the Justice in reverse over the Two of Cups. What I'm getting is a relationship ended. A relationship ended. I feel like it was a relationship that we did not want to end. A relationship that we may have felt forced to end. And, um... Hmm... This may have affected your health, your wealth, your mental prosperity, your physical prosperity even. I'm getting that the end of this relationship costed you something. And I feel like you maybe didn't get the closure that you wanted. That you didn't get the closure that you wanted. But I'm also getting that you may think about this person a lot. You may think about this person a lot. Let's get some more. Page of Pentacles under the Ace of Pentacles. The Five of Wands and the Hanged Man in reverse. Okay, so I'm definitely getting a relationship ended with the Hanged Man in reverse. It's telling me that, that this may have been a relationship that was codependent. Or maybe not codependent, but we may have attached ourselves to this person whoever this person was and this person may have severed ties with us so it's like it's not our sacrifice but it's their sacrifice that has caused us our mental clarity i feel um it may have put you may have had a project that you wanted to work on but suddenly it has come to a stop yeah and I'm getting, you're, you're kind of fighting for your peace at this point. But what I feel like, I feel like it's coming if it's not already here. I feel like the worst is over because these, these cards tell me something happened that may have not been, um, that may not have been wanted, but I feel like this was maybe a, A karmic relationship that came to an end I feel like you guys may have served your purposes to each other and it's time for you oh my gosh all these cards just fell out and it's time for you to learn those lessons and let that person go I'm getting um now would be a good time to find a closure if you could talk to them maybe reach out make peace with this person and that will make you feel more whole. You guys don't have to end on the, on a bad note. Is what I'm getting. Can we get some more into this? Hmm. We got the Ten of Cups over the Two of Cups in reverse. And then we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. 
Okay, this person may have, um, this person may have felt insecure in their relationship. Either insecure with themselves or insecure in the way that they cared for you. I feel like it was a good relationship, though. I feel like both of you cared a lot for each other. I feel like that's not why it ended. Because I don't see any... Let's keep going. We got the Seven of Cups over the Six of Cups. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm getting that... You may be kind of lost in your mind, unsure where to go next, trying to find that balance again. You may be engaging in escapist activities. Maybe you're watching a lot of TV. Maybe you're ignoring your work, your responsibilities. That's what I get with the Ace of Pentacles. You may be confused. You may not know why this relationship ended because with this Ten of Cups here, it's telling me that that this may have been unexpected or unideal. Ace of Pentacles. We got the Seven of Wands and the Five of Swords. Yeah, so the end of this relationship may have come to the detriment of you, but I feel like you're not giving up so easily. I feel like you're ready to get back on your feet. You're ready to get back on your feet. Can I look at the justice and oh my gosh. Don't fall anymore. Alright, let's look at the justice in reverse. Yeah. Definitely probably broke your heart. You felt betrayed by this person. You didn't see this coming. I don't think you saw this coming. Can we get into the Ten of Pentacles? Because this looks beautiful. I don't know what the Ten of Pentacles is about. What is it about? Who is it about? King of Wands in reverse. Let's get another. We got the Eight of Wands in reverse. You may be waiting for some answers. You may not have... You, you may not have the full picture and everything's kind of moving slowly and it's, it's, it's driving you crazy. It's kind of like, what now, you know, or can we just finish this? Like, can I, or can I just get over this at this point? Like I'm ready to move on, but it's like, sometimes we need a little more time. Sometimes we have to be patient with ourselves. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. You got the world in reverse. Yeah. You need closure. You still want closure. You're still waiting for closure. And you feel like once you get that closure, your peace will be restored. You can start to work on your physical reality. Start manifesting that which you deserve. This may have set you back. But... You need to be patient. I feel like I feel like this month is the best month to get that. If you have to reach out to this person or if this person's going to reach out to you. I got the Ace of Swords. I wanted to put it back, but I kind of want to leave it. I kind of want to leave the Ace of Swords. That commun that communication is going to come in. You're going to get that closure. And I'm getting strong earth energy. So, um, what is earth energy again? Capricorn, Tur Taurus, Virgo. Or it could be fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But all of the signs are here. Yeah, all of the signs are here. Those are just the ones I feel mo most strongly. But, yeah, this person may not be in the position to give you what you need. But definitely, this is a great month to get that conversation out there, to find that closure, to make that peace with this person. Because I feel like there's a lot of love on this table, but it's kind of like wrong timing. 
can we get the five of wands let's see what the five of wands is about you got the six of pentacles in the reverse take care of yourself before you try to do anything else you can't find your peace if if you're neglecting parts of your life let's get more into that i want it king of cups maybe they're a cancer Maybe you feel like you were giving more into the relationship than the other person. You were trying harder than the other person was. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe you feel like you were putting more in, like you were fighting harder than this person was. Hmm. Let's get in the hangman. What's the hanged man telling us? Queen of Cups in reverse. So I definitely feel like this could have been a soulmate. It could have been a soulmate. Someone was off balance. Someone was torn. Someone needed to sacrifice this relationship to heal or to move forward in a different direction. Let's get one more on that one. Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man. Knight of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Hmm. It could also be fire energy again. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be scared of something. Scared of what? Maybe this person isn't used to committing. Maybe this person didn't expect this relationship to turn out the way it did. Maybe this person was expecting the connection to be kind of fleeting, and it wasn't, and it threw them for a loop. Huh. All right, you guys, what I want to tell you is seek some closure this month. This month, definitely talk to your person, whether it's a romantic, platonic, business relationship, whatever it was that made you feel like you lost something first of all i'm not getting that i'm getting you have the sense that you lost something with these swords i feel like it seems worse than it is because i don't think you're in the thick of it either i feel like you're transitioning out from this situation and i feel like you can see it getting better lovers the lovers yeah, this could have been a soulmate. Soulmate twin flame, but I'm getting a lot of blocked energy, either on both of your ends or one end, but the communication has been stifled, and I really want you guys to talk peacefully. It is a, mer it is a Mercury retrograde, so be careful with your words. But say what you mean, say what you feel, especially with this... Um, what is it? Is it a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? I believe it's a lunar eclipse. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's today, July 16th, 2000, 2019. So, um, yeah, try to find that closure. Try to start anew. Try to clean your space out. Clean your mental space out. If someone is on your mind and it's causing you to lose focus or anything like that, Seek some closure so you can start anew. So you can plant new new seeds. Yeah. Okay, let's get some... Wait, one more card for the underlying energy. We got the Nine of Cups. I feel like you guys can work this out, though. I feel like there's something here. Because I get a lot of love from this, and... It's a lot of conflicting energy because on one end, I feel like you are a very abundant person. You are very blessed and guided. But at the same time, I feel like you're still fighting for that peace. So I feel like whoever it is that may have hurt you, go and talk to them. Be graceful about it. Um, and just... Ask what you have to ask. Say what you have to say. Cut those ties. Or maybe you guys can even be friends. Or maybe you guys can 
reconcile even. But see what you guys can do about this relationship because with the Nine of Cups here and the Six or the Lovers, of course, I feel like it ain't over here. This isn't where it ends. This isn't where this person ends for you. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I just want to know how this turns out. If you're watching this, let me know. All right, let's get some Oracle cards in there. Let's do three of them. And then we're going to call it a day and call it a reading. Okay, one popped out. It said, you are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. I feel like there's still love in this relationship. Try your best to speak with your brain and your heart at the same time. So if you're angry, try to tone it down. If, you, if you're really sad, try to tone that down too. Don't hide your emotions, but just watch the way you communicate. Don't fuck it up. Oh my gosh, all these cards. I probably got like a slip of these hands in the face of the world. But anyways, let's get two more Oracle cards. All right. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, here it fucking is. What do you have to say? I feel like there's something that you have to say. And you may have been nervous about saying this. Get it out. Get that closure. Get that closure so you can move on. Because you got good shit coming for you. Under all those blockages, is good shit coming for you. Look, you've got happiness, contentment here. Maybe even with this person, there's a reconciliation to be had. There's a reconciliation to be had. There's Love isn't lost. Let's get one more oracle card, please. Thank you so much. It said, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. Mmm. Mmm. Was it miscommunication? Also, one thing I want to mention... Don't let your fears create the situation for you, especially with this Ten of Swords here. Try to regard the situation, whatever it is, from an objective standpoint. And see, see what's going on with your partner. See why, um, why they may have needed that space because I feel like you guys can still be close. But both of you may have to put your egos down and just listen and just accept each other as you are. I still feel like um, a conversation needs to be had between you just to find that closure just to make that peace with each other but but yeah that is you guys is reading thank you so much for being here with me um, you have a great rest of your month and I'm hoping that I will get into the signs and do individual readings for each of the signs soon but anyways um, have a have a great day you guys